Hey, welcome back. Uh, just a bit of a quick one. I had a, I've had a couple of requests just um, with a bit of interest when I talk about the moisture probes and what they are and how they work and that sort of stuff. So I just saw while I'm over here near one, I'll give you a bit of a close look at it. Um, I've got one back in the shed there that we can we can get a look at it as well. Uh, so this is we've actually got a local company. So um, these ones are called Schedule It, but they're part of um, the Eagle Eye. Um, machinery group which is where we get our, our pivot irrigators from um, so we pay an annual subscription we actually own we've got four of these that we actually own um, and then we pay a, a sort of an annual subscription for maintenance and the guys come and uh, put them in and take them out and, and that sort of thing so uh, so these ones are a little bit different in the fact that with the irrigation uh, they actually give you a prediction of when um, when we need to irrigate um, so it's it's hooked to a weather site I'm not sure um, which one it is um, whether it's weather zone or YR and effectively it looks at the looks at the weather forecast and you know if you know say it say it's gonna we're gonna get 20 mil in two days time um, it, it adjusts the sort of the moisture graph to suit um, or and what what we're looking at with the one and how we used it with the corn is um, it would basically tell us, well, right, I buy today's Friday, so by next Wednesday the crop's gonna, gonna, going to need to be irrigated, if I can get that out. So, uh, yeah, so it's pretty handy in that respect. Um, so also it's, um, it's measuring rainfall, so we've got real-time rain measurement. Um, it's also wind speed and frost. Um, so I've been getting, with the frost we've had, I've been getting frost alerts. Um, I actually turned it off because it was driving me silly and there was, there's really, really nothing you can sort of do about a frost anyway. Um, not in our um, enterprise. If we were citrus trees or something like that, we might have some frost fans or something. But anyway, that's another, another one. But yeah, so it's giving me frost. So, you know, we knew at canopy height that, uh, the frost was, the temperature was, you know, minus three or minus 3.8 or something. So it did get pretty cold. Uh, so like everything, we've just got an app on our phone. Um, hopefully you can see this. So um, we're at Woodlands Wheat. So we just click on that one. And then, so effectively, uh, if you can see the black line there, I don't know if I turn it around, that's no, not going to, oh yeah, it might get bigger. Will it get bigger for you? No. It didn't work that well. Uh, yeah, so effectively the black line, if my bloody camera will work now, um, you can see it basically on the decrease. So it's effectively telling us that by, you know, the 5th of July, or it's actually probably a bit later, if we were, we should be irrigating. So we're looking at, you know, current day the 30th today, what is it, 28th today. So that's the end of the black line. And then as it's just decreasing, um, so it'll be interesting to see, you know, tomorrow they've got five mil. So there should really be a spike in that, uh, in that blue line or in the black line, sorry, in the black line, it'll spike because we've had moisture. So if same thing, if we had a, you know, if, if we were to, We've got one under the one of the irrigators um, at home, at a home place in the canola. So you know, if we apply twenty mil, um, you would see that you know immediate um, spike. So we'll just have a look at the other one. So this one's a little bit different. Um, you can actually see there by um, the way the lines decreasing. Um, you know. By the second, by the third of July, it's really telling us we should be irrigating um, if it doesn't rain, which we actually could do because we've got water in the dam. We, you know, this time of year, ten or fifteen mil would be enough rain to get that that line back up again. So, so yeah, it's good. It's real time information. You know, we're getting rainfall, um, that sort of thing, temperature. Um, I'm gonna one of the ones. Well, we've got two at home in the shed. I'm going to get the guys to set them up out on some of our dry blocks so we can get, you know, weather, what the, one, what the, uh, you know, what, 
what the moisture probe's doing, so that's obviously where the probe is. Well, there he is there, pushed in the ground, so they've just put a little marker flag there. Um, they've got it all wrapped up that hopefully the sheep don't eat it. For some reason, the sheep like chewing on the copper <laughs> in the copper wires, so. Um, but yeah, just so we can get, you know, real time, rather than guessing with uh, top dressing, with when we're spreading fertiliser, you know, we're, we're guessing how much soil moisture we've got with these things. We know exactly what we've got um, and we can sort of make those fertiliser decisions um, a bit e well, a bit easier. It sort of helps make how much we should be applying and that. Uh, what else? So, yeah, but it's, you know, it's the technology's there, so we might as well be using it. Um, and, yeah, look, the... As I said, for, for irrigating for the summer crop, I just found with the corn, they were fantastic because we were usually in the past, we'd just lower right over once a week with water. Whereas um, with these things, you're, you're not guessing what's going on. You can so well, it doesn't need watering or we need to bring that watering forward just to you know optimize that yield so the plant's not stressing especially over summer when it, when it can be hot or you know we could look at the weather forecast going forward and so well, right oh, next week it's going to be 40 degrees um the pro the moisture's on the de on the decline we'll water again now um just to get that profile full of moisture and and if it does get hot the the plant's not under stress so um so yeah it's it's one really handy tool that we use um also for spraying with our you know wind wind speed wind direction um our delta t which Oh, it's a bit hard to, I'll probably need to get that, um, get the actual proper information on that before I try and explain what the Delta T is. Um, but yeah, that's basically, basically it gives us, again, a graph for, a, it's actually a number of optimal spray um, conditions. Um, you know, if it's, there's not enough wind and the temperature is dropping, you know, you, that's when you start and get inversions, which I think I have shown you before with the, you know, you see the fog or the dust, it just hangs sort of six foot off the ground. So um, that's an inversion. So, you know, when you're spraying then, that then means the chemical's not actually hitting the ground. So, um, which is pretty in, pretty important. You want to try and get that chemical where you target, what you're trying to target. So, um, but yeah, a little solar panel there, maintenance free. The guys actually I must get alerts on these things because um, what happens is, and what I've happened, I've had Brett ring me and he goes, oh, have you got sheep in that paddock? And I'll say, yeah, well, I have. And he said, oh, well, the moisture probe's not working. So you go down there and sure enough that the sheep have been chewing on the cable and it was a bit like the corn. We had a we had a mischievous fox that kept eating the, uh, <laughs> coming down and was kept chewing the bloody probe. So that happened three times, I think. So the boys had to trudge into the corn and, and fix the probe up. <laughs> so anyway, but uh, so yeah, no, good system, works well. Um, most most farmers now are running them. Um, yeah, if, if they're not, they probably should be um, because they are pretty cheap, pretty cheap technology that gives us, gives us you know, real time, real time information on our phone. If we're away on holidays or we're not home, we can, you know, check the weather and check the rainfall also yeah farmers always love to see how much rain we've had or how much we haven't had so um yeah anyway but yeah i just thought i'd just sort of take the opportunity um yeah one of you guys asked the other day about them um whether we could do a bit of a spiel on them but yeah there's a like most things there's many different um brands um suppliers that sort of stuff we just use these guys because they are local um and because they're sort of tied up with the the guys we deal with with our irrigators so and yeah we've been um yeah no we've really been really happy with them so uh yeah anyway just another quick one uh yeah i hope you got something out of it all right thanks see you on the next one bye bye